business. Um, conventional cars usually take about 50 hours to produce. We'd spend three and a half thousand hours on that car. We spend 9,000 man hours on a Geneva on our big luxury four door saloon. And we spend over 3,000 hours on our sports car on our before ECS. Established in 1987, the Bufori name stands for beautiful, unique, fun, original, romantic, and irresistible. They now produce only two designs, the Geneva Saloon and the compact sports car. Each car goes through a 25-stage production process that takes about four months. From the original design elements, to engineering each part, after which there's fabrication and testing. Even fitting the upholstery is done manually. No automation at all is involved in the process, and each worker is a craftsman in his own field. You can see why prices start around 150,000 US dollars. Some of their high-end custom cars can go for as much as half a million US dollars. Um, really lies in the uniqueness of the brand and in the uniqueness of the product. The ability to be able to have a custom-made car to suit you. you know, and when you come to settle on, that history of you goes with the car and it goes down the line, you know, and it, it goes forever. Next up, I get to experience one of these beautiful machines the only one of its kind in the world. Hey Mike, Justin here from the TV, driving your car. Handles great, buddy. Oh God. I've seen the passion that drives Matthew as he customizes specially designed motorbikes and Boontech's passion for modified supercars. What they're doing is pretty exceptional. But my time at Bufori in Malaysia is something else altogether. These cars are, dare I say it, magnificent. The body of each car is made up of carbon fiber and Kevlar, two of the strongest materials on the planet and each part of the car is carefully molded by teams of trained workers. All the parts are custom made, and each section is meticulously checked. You have the option to choose almost every single aspect of the car, from the colors to the stitching on the rear view mirror. Yeah, the rear view mirror is a rear 